What's up, Creed? Welcome to your Friday workout. Coach Andrew, Coach Mandy coming at you here. Got a three-parter again. We got our warm-up, our workout, and our finisher today. All right, so as usual, we'll let you know what that finisher is after we finish the entire workout. All right, but first, we're gonna go over part A and part B of our workout. Part A, a little more of a strength one here, a little more of endurance, strength mixed together. Minute one, we have a 50-second dumbbell suitcase step up, all right? So this is a part of our nine-minute EMOMs. We have three moves, it'll be three minutes for each move here. We're only working 50 seconds out of the 60 seconds, so we have an automatic 10-second rest slash transition time today. But with our step ups, we're alternating each foot each time, all right? We keep that dumbbell in the same hand for the whole round. Next round that comes through, you'll switch hands, and the next round you'll finish on that right hand again, or whichever hand you started with, all right? But notice how she, when she steps up, she gets that whole foot on top of that step, or weight, or textbook, whatever you may have at home, stair. Um, she gets that whole foot on top, driving through her heel, and she's standing all the way up tall. And then she steps back down. We're alternating feet here, left, right, left, right, left, right, for 50 seconds. All right, if you do not have anything to step up onto, that's a-okay. We're gonna go lunges here. Same idea with that suitcase position. We're stepping it back, just like that. You can do a forward lunge, or a walking lunge, or just a regular reverse lunge. Your choice on that end. Minute two, we have 50 seconds of dumbbell close grip floor press. So we're down in a glute bridge position here. Back is flat, all right, heels are nice and close. And then we're gonna have that dumbbell. It's gonna be close grip, so our palm is gonna be inverted, all right? So we're going palm with a neutral grip here, and we're keeping that elbow nice and close to our side. Typically, we want our elbow at a 45 degree angle with these floor presses. Today, we're going close grip, so our elbow's nice and close to our ribs, kind of grazing our side on the way down and on the way back up. A little more tricep work there today, all right? So, since it's 50 seconds for both arms, we're doing 25 seconds on one arm, 25 seconds on the other arm, all right? And then minute three, we have 50 second hollow holds. We're down in our hollow hold position. Make sure that back is nice and curved. We have that nice curve in our lumbar spine. Our core is tight, we're dropping that belly button through our spine. Hands in the air, feet in the air. We have two hands down by our side. We absolutely must if that lower back feels like it's coming off the ground and we're arching. Go ahead and place our hands under our hips to help us get a little more leverage there. So that's our first part, EMOM by nine minutes, three rounds through. Then we go into our four sets of an AMRAP at two minutes. So very short AMRAPs here, only two minutes, only two moves, all right? Low reps as well, so we gotta move through these pretty quickly. We have two up downs into three dumbbell goblet squats. All right, so we'll do our up down, keeping our chest away from the floor, jumping our feet back, jumping our feet forward, and then we go into our dumbbell goblet squats. Uh, modification here for these dumbbell goblet squats. If our squats don't feel too great today, we'll just go regular body weight here. We're still looking to get all the way down into our squat and all the way back up. Only three reps on the squat and only two reps in the up downs. And we'll repeat between those two for two whole minutes of trying to accumulate as many reps as you can. Then after that two minutes, we have a one minute rest and then three more sets for a total of four sets there. All right, but remember that one minute rest comes after every single round. So we're basically working for two minutes, resting for one minute, all right? So we have half of our rest time, uh, and, and, or half of our work time and rest time, all right? So be sure to bust through that AMRAP as quick as you can, all right? So that's our workout. All you'll need is one dumbbell here, maybe two. If you have two of the same weight, that close grip floor press would be a lot easier to do with two dumbbells going for a full 50 seconds, not have to worry about transitioning between hands. Same idea on that dumbbell suitcase. You could have both on each side. All right, so for our warm-up today, we have an AMRAP by five minutes. So first minute is cardio. The next four minutes are spent AMRAPing 10 glute bridges and then 10 alternating lunges with a twist. So our glute bridges were down on the ground, driving those hips up high with our heels close to us. And then our alternating lunges were stepping out forward, twisting right, twisting left, lunging back the center, opposite leg, twisting right, twisting left with our lunges. So it's five and five on each leg there for a total of 10. We'll go back and forth between lunges with a twist and glute bridges for four whole minutes. Sound good? Let's do it, y'all. Let's roll. Let's get one. We got our five minute clock set up over on our end. If you have a clock at home as well, feel free to set that up or a watch, iPad, iPhone watch, something like that. Go ahead and get that rolling. We've got 10 minutes, or five minutes on the clock, rather. Going with one minute cardio. Per usual, go ahead and just jump rope. Two, one. Two, one. One, here we go. That was not a good start. There we go. As we a friendly reminder to get that music going. And get our minds right. Lock in for this workout. We are halfway through a minute. We're at 30 seconds. Go 
Definitely feeling out of legs for sure. A little sore from yesterday. Had a nice little leg day yesterday in here. The old 8 a.m. Got coached by Mandy. Hell yeah. Had our front squats. Loud. Two, and rest. That is our warm-up leg. Should be nice and warm. I know mine are, that's for sure. Definitely. Give a little shake. Grab some water if you need it. We're going to go ahead and jump into our workout. Like I said, part A is a nine-minute EMOM. So every minute on the minute, we have 60 seconds total. But all of these are time-based. So you have an automatic 10 seconds of rest on each of these. So it's 50 seconds for our dumbbell suitcase lunge, or suitcase step up. And then we have 50 seconds for our dumbbell close grip floor press. And then 50 seconds for a hollow hold. All right, so rotate through these three, three times each. Try and go unbroken with our hollow hold, all three sets today. We'll be challenging. We'll see if we can do it. I have confidence in us. I'm not gonna say no or I can't until I literally actually fail. So I'm gonna believe in myself today. I think I can do it. 50 seconds, it'll be tough, it'll be tough. But we'll see what we can do. 
We have our nine minutes on the clock. Right there. We're going 50 seconds for all three of these moves, three rounds for each. All right? 50 right. seconds. Let's do it. Rowan 10. Starting with our step ups. Ten more seconds here. Three, two, one. Back down to the ground for our floor press. Quick transition. Three, two, one. Back into it. We're gonna keep that elbow nice and close to our rib cage. All the way tucked down today. Uh, 
seconds here. Last 20. Definitely worst move there, for sure, 100%. Oh my gosh, every single time. I don't think there's been a time that's like, hollow hold, how dare you? You can see I've got a little better at hollow holds though, so that's good, that's good. Got a little better at that. All right, so part two now. It's four sets of an AMRAP of two minutes each. So you have four sets of two minute AMRAPs. Total of eight minutes of work with one minute rest between sets. So we'll have a uh, rest after the first set, rest after the second set, rest after the third set. And then once we finish the fourth set, we go straight into our finisher today, which will be a touch more of core, all right? So, might be a, a new move for us on one of them, and then the other move, all reliable. 
definitely got me sore last week, I promise you that. So hopefully we've built up an immunity to that soreness. Maybe we've gotten stronger, but probably not, because two minutes is a long time, for sure, for sure. So, a little hint there, one of them is two minutes long. But, four sets of two minute AMRAP, we're gonna have a timer set up over on this end. We'll use our Tabata timer, it helps keep track. We've got two minutes of work, we got one minute of rest, and we got four rounds here. We can do it, guys. What is two minutes of work? Exactly, two minutes of work. It's probably we the shortest, shortest AM rap you've probably ever done. Yeah. It's gotta be, it's gotta be. Two up downs, three dumbbell goblet squats. Two up downs, three dumbbell goblet squats. Back and forth, back and forth for two whole minutes, 120 seconds, four total sets. All right, guys? Let's do it. Let's roll. We got two minutes on the clock, starting in 10. Just two and three, two and three, all the way through. There you go. Pull over halfway through our first minute. I wish I would have kept track of rounds. <laughs> Maybe the second one. Fifteen more seconds here. Four, three, two, one. Ah. <laughs> My back is sore from front squats. I found that out right then. <laughs> Whew. I got a drink of water. Got about fifty seconds. We're gonna go into set dose. Every day this week. So Monday accumulate five minutes of plank. Tuesday accumulate five minutes of plank. With every time you try doing it, trying to get longer strings of time put together. So let's say you start off on Monday, did a minute. That was the highest amount of time you got the whole time for five minutes. Tuesday you're trying to get a minute fifteen or a minute ten, just a little bit more time strung together for a longer plank. Trying to accumulate five minutes total. Yep, yep. So, let's know.
minute down, one to go. Wow, it gets heavier and heavier every time I pick it up. <laughs>
toe tips, our knees, and our hands. All right, so with that, she's extending one arm, her right arm, and extending her left leg. The left arm and right leg stay the same, all right? So we're going to have core stability, core control here. So if it's too easy, our feet and hands might be too far apart. All right, so bring them closer together to make this movement much, much harder. If you bring them right next to each other, when you go to raise that arm and then opposite leg, you might wobble a little bit. That's that core, we need to lock it down, keep it tight to have control through that range of motion. All right, so it's opposite arm, opposite leg, move at the same time. The other two stay centered as our balance beam, all right? So after three whole minutes of max bird dogs, don't fly through that movement. That movement is meant to be taken slow, has to be taken slow. If you fly through it, well guess what? When you reach up and come back down real, real fast, you didn't have to try and balance you just took your arm up and leg back and came back down. So slow reach, slow kick back, control, come back together. And then opposite arm and opposite leg. So slow, slow movement through the three minutes. Immediately into two whole minutes of max Russian twists. All right, so then we'll kind of burn out with these right here. Make sure we get a full range of motion. Our hands are tapping the ground next to us. All right, if you want to do these weighted, feel free to. I'd say grab a lighter weight, um, maybe a five or 10 pound weight. Because two minutes is a long time. Try and keep those heels elevated off the ground. If you have to bring the heels down to the ground, just place your heels and tap them on the ground just for a little bit of balance. Don't rely on your heels to sit upright, all right? We want to use our core to stay upright. Sound good? Let's do it, guys. Woo, just five minutes. Come on. That's all it is. It's literally just five minutes. That's all it is. That's five minutes of your life. Exactly. Can't do much better than some core work. For five minutes. <laughs> oh, that was gonna be tough. A little side view, a little front profile. Try as hard as possible to keep those hips and shoulders in line. 
Alright, so when we go and reach up, I'm rotating over, my hips don't come out of line. I'm staying together, facing the ground, shoulders and hips stay closed off. Halfway through our time. 90 seconds in, 90 to go.
Yeah.